You guys know this place. Oh, dude, funny seeing you here. What are you doing here? Favorite razor here. You got a favorite razor? One of the Max P1000. Thought it was the White Skull. No, what? It's one of the Max P1000. <laughs> what, the XPs? The black one or the white one? Oh my goodness. The black one or the white one? Oh, you like the Pro too. Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense then. Hey, dude, I like that paint. That's nice. Anyways, you didn't even answer me. What are you even doing here? All the parts came Huh? For the what? Players. All Claire's parts came. For that wreckage sitting at home? Fantastic. And it's only been like what? Mm, Less week. than a week? We came here last Wednesday. Okay, so. so we literally, and they came in on Monday? Yeah, Wednesday, dude. Yesterday. Week, dude. It's fast. Literally ordered the plastics for an entire side-by-side. -side. I mean, every single piece, so. Um, that's a pretty good deal. You guys want any other deals? Just come in here to Bob Cycle, because they got a shit ton of vehicles in here. And I still need to get out on that one, but they got a ton of stuff in here, so. Come check them out. Oh, I see they're getting helmets now. I like that. Let's see if there's anybody in here actually working. Probably not. Probably not. Abel said it. Nope, there's <laughs> nobody in here working. Unbelievable. Let's venture out here. You gonna stay right there? Lounging? Try not to drink and eat all their snacks. Is there anybody working here today? <laughs> no? Closed? Closed for the evening? Hey, this thing's pretty slick looking, dude. Hey, there's those full doors you were talking about ordering. What's going on, Rat Pack? You guys just come out of the corner like, like you just did something wrong. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> you fire everybody. What's going on, dude? I heard you took the supercharger to freaking Silver Lake. Yeah. How was it? Good. Sweet. Pretty nasty. Uh, just makes me want to drive it even more. Where's our parts guy? Is he playing hooky? He don't come in half time or he leaves early. <laughs> they better give you a raise, dude. Now you're pulling double duty. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna get with Jason. Round up all of our freaking boxes, all of our parts for the fandom, and uh, we'll show you what we got when we get back home. More hours later. What's up, buddy? Dude, don't even start with me. I'm starting it right now. Don't even start with me. Aiden doesn't want me to start this video because of his hair. Okay. It looks dude. good. And what are you doing? TV glasses. What is this, dog. dude? I just did that. Okay, we're doing it again. You gotta put an extra layer on there and let it soak. I know, because this is true. You gotta let, it, let these if things any, marinate. <laughs> you let marinate. If any of you guys have ever had these Baja assault mirrors, literally, once you take them out in the field, never are you getting these freaking screws out. No, it, I mean, you'll get the, the back side. Oh, wait, no, you'll get this side out, a few of them. Maybe. But you're never, ever getting these out. I have literally ruined how many pairs of mirrors? I'd say two, maybe. At least two, I think three, because I have a couple in a box that literally from rollovers or whatever, they're damaged and I was gonna try to, you know, repowder coat them. No, nope, it's never happening. And Assault won't even give you these screws if you try to easy out them and destroy them. It's just, it's just game over. Kind of like what this thing's looking like, but it's not game over. No. So, I know guys, I didn't go over the side-by-side -side in West Virginia because obviously it didn't mean anything. I mean, this car means absolutely nothing. None of these cars in here mean shit compared to, you know, somebody's life or, you know, their well-being or anything like that. So obviously this was not a care or a concern. Did not, I don't, I can speak for you two. Nobody cared. No, not really. Aiden was back home. We let him know what happened and never once did he ask about his car. Never was that a care and concern, and that's the way it should be. For all of you out there that ride, do anything with your friends or your family, you know, none of this shit matters. These things can be fixed, rebuilt, replaced, but people can't. So um, that's what we're here for today, to give you an update on Aiden's car. The Phantom has seen better days. <laughs> but before we get deep into that, I do want to tell you guys that Matt is doing amazing uh me and him went to uh bentley's baseball game last week and uh, he had just gotten out of a checkup and they unwrapped his arm and i tell you what it looks incredible and some of the best doctors around here is what we were uh, or what he met with and they were very impressed so uh, they said the surgeon that did the work on matt did a phenomenal job so 
cannot be happier with that. And uh, Matt's, huh? And then you guys tore it up Memorial Weekend. Oh yeah, we yeah we tore it up. Me, me and Matt, we're living like freaking 24 year olds yeah. again. <laughs> Needless to say, it was a good time. Very good time. Yeah. Um, but anyways, back to, um, back to Matt. Like I said, he's doing great. Surgeons, everyone said he's doing great. Everything is moving amazingly. And Matt, it could not be in better freaking, like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Extraterrestrial. Better mindset? <laughs> Extraterrestrial? I don't know about that. Oh yeah, that's Dom's new thing. From great, or from good to great, great to... Extraterrestrial. No, I think there's something else in between there. No, great to legendary. Yeah, legendary. good to great, great to legendary, legendary to extraterrestrial. All right, back, Don't ask. Back, back to the rig, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and Matt's still determined to get back in a side by side. So um, might not be now, but yeah, it might still be a little while for that. But pretty cool. Um, anyways, the Phantom. Dude, this is VHF. What? I, t I told you it's VHF. I know we got you a UHF. No, we got you a VHF. Well, that was stupid. Yeah. Now we got an extra VHF that we didn't need. Anyways, Aiden. Right, well. Why don't you, we, we just ordered all the parts. Why don't you take us around the car and show us all the damage? Yeah, this right here. Right through. Done. Yep. You guys know how expensive this piece is. Whew. This right here. This? It's not, it's not too bad, but it does have a crease in it. So yeah, she's a... I'm I, pretty sure. Which I don't understand. This thing is two years old, sitting the way it's been its whole life, one little tip over, and literally the memory... Is destroyed. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we ordered we ordered a new one of that. Yeah. Uh, doors off the ghost. They're uh, the full white paint. Yes, we're not right gonna here. get new doors or lowers for the doors because we yeah. are gonna take. We got these right here. The doors from my with four the, seat. With the four seaters, they have this little this triangle in here, which we're probably gonna have to heat knife it off. No, I think I'm gonna or, I'm gonna I'm gonna tape a nice chunk of aluminum right here and here, and then I'm gonna run down that with a freaking scroll saw, jigsaw. Yeah and make that a nice, super clean cut. Beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna put those on so there. We'll do that with both of those. We'll get them on the freaking Phantom, and I think that's gonna look good, because then you're gonna have a solid painted door, which is gonna be fire. This panel's good right here. Yep, she's oh. all right. At, you can tell. This thing, you already seen that. She's donezo. Everything up here is gonna be replaced. We're just gonna, we're gonna say everything right here. Yeah, well, we just say everything over there on the floor. So uh, both front, black plastic fenders, and then obviously the two <coughs> painted hood pieces. Those need replaced. With the cage, we're gonna have to get it all sandblasted down. Ashton's gonna have to weld us new tabs on here. He's gonna have to take those off, weld us new ones on. Yeah. Uh, new, new ones on. Clear your throat, boy. Yeah. Which ABS <laughs> sent us new tabs, a brand new roof. Yeah. So we got all that coming in. Which is super awesome from ABF. Literally called them, told them what happened. Told them what we needed, and uh, they got right on it. Yep. And before the day was over, we had them already like figured out, ordered. Yep. They're gonna powder coat the roof and get it shipped. Yep. And then uh, every plastic. Well, the dryer before you get too far ahead, the cage though did its oh, job. Yeah. They did everything. I mean, literally, this is just like cosmetic damage. This cage is straight as can be. I literally measured. I got it in here on the concrete, and I measured off the floor both sides. It's not tweaked at all. It's perfect. So, um, ABF, awesome job on an awesome cage. Not only does it look probably like one of the best cages I've ever seen on a Pro XP, but super safe. Okay, and then uh, every plastic on the driver's side is done. Obviously the doors, the rocker, trashed. Rear fender, trashed. This painted fender, trash. And if you come back here, we're, we're, we're gonna show you the rear end here. You can see that there's a part already taken off. Yeah, so Aiden's already started the but teardown. You guys can, I'll leave it up to you guys to guess what's going on there. Yeah, he's, but, he, he's doing some things. What? What is that? Oh shit, I gotta be honest. I Never did not that. notice that. I think you did that at another time. I don't think so. How could nothing be damaged back here and that be cracked? Are you sure you didn't do that? Um, like picking? Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I picked that on so the Phantom's coming back, and it's coming back strong, wouldn't you say? It's coming back stronger, I would say. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and get on my work. I'm going to let you get on your work, and we'll uh, update you when you get this thing stripped down and naked. Yeah. Why don't you just order the new mirrors? No, that's like the How are you going to get that out? Uh, got your bolt extractor kit. This isn't even going to work. Yeah, well. What is this guy doing? Hey, guys. What's up, dude? You get here quick. 
Fuck yeah. Gosh damn, dude. You know what? You drove here about as fast as you drove this side by side. Probably. <laughs> oh, it looks a little different since the last time you seen it, huh? Yeah, last time I saw it was on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. How's your arm, dude? Got my stitches out. I got a hole in it right now. Damn, let me see your hand, dude. It's looking good. Less swollen. The swelling way. went down a lot. Yeah. Holy smokes. Got another doctor's appointment tomorrow. All right, all right. So what? You've been, you've had a doctor's appointment pretty much every Wednesday since it's happened. Yeah. Since you've been back. Yeah. So might as well since you're right there and we're already talking about it. What's the update, dude? How's it been? What's going on? Uh, I had well, I think the last time they saw me, I had already had surgery, and I was still in the hospital, right? Yeah. I think basically just an update from your last appointment last Wednesday. Um. So they took all my stitches out. I got a big incision here. And here, yeah, I can show them, but pretty gnarly. You can see my tendons and everything right now. Are you serious? No way. Yeah, so with the stitches. Let's see it, dude. There's an incision. And I'm just going to give you all a heads up right now. He's going to unwrap this, and I'm going to show you, but I'm going to blur it out, and you're going to have to go to our Patreon to see it if you want to see it. So go check us out on Patreon. So, some big old hole there. Holy freaking mackerel, dude. What? Um, yeah, that was a pinhole, and so the they stitch it right here, and when they pulled the stitches, uh, about a day later, this opened up. Wow. So, talked to a couple doctors. They said. So they wish they wouldn't have pulled the stitches then, or? No, yeah, they. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I haven't talked to uh, the actual doctor that saw me. I talked yeah. to Just other doctors and got their opinions. When they said it looks bad, but it's not as bad as it. I mean, obviously it needs a dress, but don't go uh, freaking out. As long as I keep it clean, and obviously it looks real bad because the it's just leaking. Yeah. All the time. So, other than that, um, everything's really good. My movement's coming along. I think. I haven't. They're gonna do a. Uh, I can tell now that your hand's still swollen, like big time. Now oh, that yeah. I'm looking at both your hand. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Swollen, but they're gonna do. Uh, Another x-ray to make sure they're worried about the bones healing right now. Yeah. They're gonna go in, do an x-ray, make sure the bones are healing, and then hopefully I can start physical therapy. That'll be sweet. Yeah. because That'll help been, move things along quite a bit. I haven't been able to um, wash my arm or really... I was wondering what smells. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's a bunch yeah, of flies in here. <laughs> I literally just blowed a fly off my face. <laughs> now I know why. Yeah. So, <laughs> Hoping to get uh, start physical therapy soon and actually uh, be able to get more movement. So I can't quite make a fist. That's me making a fist right now. It's pretty good. But so like uh, considering, my, I mean, whew. yeah. So whew. My, uh, I mean, are you? Um, I struggle with that. Uh -huh. Even that's come a long way just by because I sit here and stretch my fingers and and try and do everything. So I mean, it's to you guys it may not look like much, but. Oh, it's hard to do, but there's a little bit there where I can. So Damn. Just slowly but surely. Are you using your hand for like just daily stuff too? Like, I, I mean. To. As much as I, again, I try not to lift anything, yeah. but I try to like grab things that I can, I can grab and, um, you know, just try and keep it moving. Do you get any like sharp pains like what if you try to grab something and it's like hey oh, you, yeah. you can't do that? I, yep. Yeah. yeah no, I, you can <laughs> like oh, don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean simple things is trying to have a campfire and, and grabbing a piece of wood or like turning it one way it just it hurts but um, you know it, it gets stiff at night or in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Right now this is hurting for whatever reason I think it's just the muscles. Yeah. You know but. Whew, man. Coming along though. Coming it's coming along, along dude. Yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah, definitely could have been worse. So, anyways, we're getting this thing back up and going. Cause Junior's itching to get out on a ride soon. So yeah. My bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got about 90% of everything. And um I don't know, Junior, you want to crack into this stuff or what? There's a couple things in here I'd like to see. So I just, I told him about that big pile, dude. <laughs> like literally every piece of plastic, everything. Is that the 
old roll cage? I guess it is, isn't it? No, this is for yeah. Abel's Razor 200. <laughs> no. This is just a little guy. <laughs> but that's all right. You're learning, dude. You're learning. You're gonna learn a lot. Matt, like, eager to jump in and freaking help us get this thing back together, which I think is cool that's as hell. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not freaking putting this big old turd back on, but there's definitely something in that box. Made in America. And uh, we'll open that up here in a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> we gotta get you hard at work there, dude. Uh, is it still on a one setting? It's on the low setting. You gotta put it on the Mac Daddy setting. There you go. Now oh, see, I don't own DeWalt tools. Dude, that thing will, no, that thing will rip that bolt in half now. I don't have the walk guy box. <laughs> I was freaking, uh, to go. <laughs> I was, I was working with Abel on his Razor 200 and we were taking the wheel studs off and was using that. And I was like, <laughs> make sure well, I took one off and it was in reverse. Well, the way that he came in and grabbed the handle, he clicked it to forward and like, I'm just listening. I wasn't really paying attention. It's like, man, I'm like, man, I really should have went off by now. Boom, spun it in half. I'm like, no, we just added more work. <laughs> Bad hand, huh? I wouldn't advise you. Oh, I don't know. It might be good know. therapy, dude. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> He's like, it didn't feel good. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Man, them things are on tight, dude. God damn. I can tell over I'm thinking there was about 15 on the dozen getting it on. Whew. Are you serious? It might be locked tight, dude. I don't know about might locked tight, but. Might have to pull out a little too. Are those nylocks? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah they are. Dude, they're red. They're probably red Loctite and Nylocked and the whole deal. Let me see that thing. That thing should spin right off. Sometimes when I can make a bad hand. There. All right, there you go. Give it, the, give it the beans, dude. Get your hand out. Hey, make that. sure it's in reverse. I think it is. <laughs> ah, dude, I can't even hold it. That had nothing to do with your arm, dude. <laughs> dude, it was like a rupture through my body. Um. Here, that's what I was gonna say. Let it rattle against that cage. Use the cage. You got the right size. Just give her, give her it all. Hang you're on. definitely going the wrong. You're way. tightening you're, it. Did you you're, see that? You're tightening it. I know, but it is like, dude. I was going the right way. Hey, you're hey, tightening hey. it. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the heck? That is crazy. All right, I'm gonna get a big old glove. <laughs> there ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. What the heck? <laughs> right. Here, take this. Take this, this don't even make sense. Take this. I think we're gonna put it on underneath. That's what I was like. And then we're gonna do the ugga dugga. Here, take this. Holy smokes. God, this does not look safe. <laughs> <laughs> It's better than what you like <laughs> I couldn't hold it. Dude, you know what it reminded me of? Those arcade games where you hold the freaking metal handles and it's like. <laughs> okay, this just feels dangerous, dude. <laughs> You're barely in the freaking. What the hell? Yeah, don't do that. Don't. No. Yeah, no, Seriously, there's something wrong there. Yeah, where's your big breaker bar at? Man, I'm putting the Ugga Dug on it. This thing, I've Look seen. Look out! Go fucking launch a wrench across the shop. Here, you run the camera. I don't know what I'm doing. It's on. Just don't All drop right. it. <laughs> don't drop it, he says. Well, where, where do I want to stand? Where's the socket, dude? It's hey, on the. Give me that. Just put a little piece of cardboard under that. <laughs> That's what it don't matter. We're powder coating this thing anyways. Oh boy. Don't stand there. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna go that way if it's gonna go anywhere. Now it's gonna fall off. Okay, dude, what is up with that? 
Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> we might have to cut that sucker. Now we've heated up and let's get on with our life. Alright, heat it up, bud. You got to somewhere? Yeah, somewhere on the left. Alright, that's crazy. That's how it's supposed to go. Oh, what? Oh, that's freaking nuts. Dude, I can tell you right now, if this isn't freaking... No, you're not using that. that. You have a breaker bar in there, I think. It's a torque wrench. I don't know, it has a breaker bar in there. Mm -mm. Pause it. <laughs> just, just like any other kid. I knew that was gonna happen. It's not in there. Let me double check. And now he just dropped all the sockets in. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> proved it, proved you wrong. Wow. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. You still dropped all the sides everywhere. Care. Still a breaker bar. You're still not gonna get this thing loose. Still a breaker bar, Alright, Aiden, I hear you. He's right guys. I'm wrong. Alright. Hey, I'm a crap here if this actually works. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you got it alright? Oh, it's turning. Tell me to get a hand in dog. You're gonna bust a freaking motor bracket back there. Go on. Let's go. Ready? Oh, yeah, it's going. Dang, dude, that's crazy. You know, the worst part of this is, is the one I had to start on. So I look like the incompetent <laughs> one. Go figure, right? It's getting there. Ready? Much. Oh, uh, yeah, they spun all the threads. The whole bolt was stretched out. Wow. Yeah, that thing I'm surprised this one wasn't flexed like the other one. Yeah. Show them that one over there where it's all painted. See the square tube. Nice and square and pretty. Powder coat's not cracked, dude. Looking Look, good. That whole bolt stretched. Now we go to that one. <laughs> you are dumb. <laughs> you are dumb. <laughs> dude, look at that thing. Can you get the camera on that? Come over here and look down on it, dude. That thing is deep. Deep stew. <laughs> oh, I don't even know if the camera's gonna focus or not. I'm not used to this whole camera thing, so. Yeah, you gotta go in and out sometimes. You get it to grab what you want it to. Usually it grabs pretty good, but. It ain't working. All right. I think we can let Matt take care of the rest of the cage bolts now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You guys did the hard one. Yep. <laughs> it's always one, you know it. All right, dude, you ready to crack into some of them boxes? Yeah. Anybody need any uh, Pro XP plastics? I mean, it's not like they're completely roached. Just a couple of them don't look that great. You know, when things go bad, you just you come back even better. Yeah. Right. So first box we got a. You're welcome. Huh? I said you're welcome. Yeah, did you thank Matt? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Too soon? No. What we got Dude. What we got oh, for all the noises. There we go. You know what? This is going to be the first car in the Lulu's off-road freaking entire arsenal that's ever had a blow-off valve. Did Austin ever put a blow-off valve on any of his, did he? No, because we always, you know, we're on the East Coast, so like I'm always worried about mud. So I always get like the recirculating one. Yeah. But this one's, so she's going to vent to the atmosphere. We got the NA Pro R's now, though. Huh? We got the NA Pro R's. Well, I can't do nothing with that, yeah. unless we put a turbo kit on it. <sighs> yeah. Moving on, dude. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thought. Yeah, All right, so we got the Evo blow-off valve. Let's get these little ones out the way here. What do you got here, dude? Like switches yeah, dude you, you got to be able to turn things on get, uh, you watch the turbo s video that's yep turbo s freaking gunner reloaded gunner um even the ghost out in az all my side lights are sas watch lights and then oh, oh. dude you know yeah you know you got to light it up yeah spice it up sometimes yeah so do you, did you decide what light you're gonna actually use for that switch is that gonna be like all your accent lights 
What did we say this is gonna be? Rock lights, whips, and stuff. Whip lights. And rock lights. Whips. We're gonna tie it all together. What? Oh yeah, we didn't open that box. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, what is this thing? Huh? Little bonus, dude. Little bonus. You little know, bonus. I think we've had this. You one can one. thank Austin for that one. Yeah, I think we've had this one. Yeah. One. So charge tube. Austin actually bought that for. His pro. Speaking. What the heck was the name of that one? The bomber. B2 bomber, dog. No, dude. That's the Pro R. Oh, you're right. No. Yes. Oh, you're right. The one Gene bought, dude. Yeah. The jet. The jet, dude. The jet, there it is. All right. Yeah. So Austin had bought that for the jet. Never put it on. So that pretty much just got donated down to Aiden. He's had it for over a year. So yep. <laughs> it happens. Box we got here. Oh, Don't be losing any of the goodies, the dude. Really need. That's Air what we need. Screws, 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 dude. I still think you're screwed on that deal. Yeah, uh, maybe. I think you're gonna be ordering a new set of mirrors. Hey, you guys know what these are. Okay, so guys, these are the Baja freaking side mirror lights. This is the kit. So if you actually already have assault mirrors, you can literally retrofit them with these and then you got side lights. And then you can get yourself a Sasquatch switch and you'll be freaking hitting the trails like a pimp. Yep. So pretty cool, these like a gonna, pimp. These aren't gonna stay raw for long. No, we're gonna get that stuff powder coated. Yep. Um, but I will tell you, like on Gunner Reloaded and I think on Sandy, we had, no, just on Gunner Reloaded. So I learned from Gunner and Sandy that if you want the convex mirror, you have to buy the convex mirror separate and then buy the retrofit yeah, kit that. That. because they do not sell the Baja side mirror lights in the convex mirror kit together. So anyways, why don't you put these two back in the I box so we don't lose them? The convex mirror. Yeah, so if we can get the bezels and everything off. Because uh, once they get dirt in them, i got to be honest, those screws are donezo. They're Allen heads, and I've never been successful ever getting them off after we've taken them out on the trail. I think we're only missing two to get out. That's it. That's really? It. Well, I'll Four. give her a shot for you and see what I can do. What we got here? What is that, anyways? This is... What is it? Oh, this is from Bob's. They, uh... Drop shipped uh, the tweeter boot for the cage. Oh, okay, cool. That, yeah, that, I'll go over yeah. Here. So we got the other one. Same with these. these Actually, yeah. Move that stuff over there. Brackets, yeah. Brackets. Put everything together over there from our, our friends at Bob Cycle right there. Okay. okay what do you got here, bud? I'm out. Another thing from Assault. Nice, nice. You guys see it right there. Got the Stinger front grill, looking good. Oh, we did order this in white. Not sure why it came in silver. It's not a big but deal. But that's okay, because we're just gonna go have it powder coated with everything else, right? You're not wrong. Nope, so what are you gonna do? You gonna do the outside white and this white? White, white, and then... Are you leaving this black? Perfect. Woo, Perfect. you just let him in on something that uh, you haven't freaking talked about yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is a Phantom. It is a phantom. All right, looking good so far, dude. Dressing her up a little bit. I, th I mean, you don't even have to open it if you don't want. I think we can tell from the freaking sticker tape. Gotta make sure you know what it is. Looks like a heck of a lot of work. <laughs> That's a lot of wires, dude. I think you're probably gonna need that tune just to make up for all the weight you're adding. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Huh? <laughs> all right, so obviously that was the rock light kit. This We're gonna get the phantom all juiced up, dude, looking good. This is for... Oh, open those up, I haven't seen them yet. These are just whip. This is just like a little bonus thing. So these are the 5150 whip bags. We, uh, you know, traveling back and forth from Glamis, back home to Arizona to everywhere else we go we usually just literally like throw our whips in the back seat wedge them in something try to find a box maybe to store them in and uh just hope they make it to wherever we're going safe and these bags i mean they're like 50 bucks i mean perfect good looking bag protects your whips yeah dude they got a carbon fiber look excellent there's something else in there too i think this is something that every well i won't say everybody 
we've missed it a couple times and I think maybe some other people might as well but these clips for the mounts for your 5150 whips when you bolt the mount to your cage or your car or whatever and then the mount that your whip actually goes into for the plug. these clips snap onto that mount and then they hold your wire in place so like if you take your whip off for whatever reason you can actually attach your clip or your wire to the clip keeps it safe keeps it from dangling down getting ripped off in your suspension or something who knows it's good to have yes. cheap insurance we're missing some tape on this one what do you mean I'm missing some tape here. I, don't know. I don't know why not even sure what you're referring to i think I the cow probably took it i don't know not sure. The, the Evo box had Evo tape on it, so I mean. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, you guys have seen these, I mean, probably a dozen times. I really don't know a better looking exhaust for, you know, Pro XP, Turbo R platform. I mean, literally, it just looks incredible. I've loved it on all of our cars. And uh, we just figured, you know what? Might as well just get it done. We're doing all this other work. So Aiden ordered him up a freaking Magnum exhaust. We're gonna take the shield off. Are you gonna have that powder coated? White. White? Okay, so that's gonna be white. It's gonna look good. Yep. Looks nice, dude. They always look so good when they're brand new. Yeah. <laughs> so good. She's gonna be sounding good. Oh yeah. I can already see it in Matt's eyes. He's like, dude, I'm definitely driving this again when it gets fixed. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> she looks good, bud. I'm excited for that, dude. This car is gonna look so good. Dom! Uh, what's, up? what's going on, bud? Good, buddy. How you doing? Good, you? Good. What y'all doing, bud? Nothing, dude. Huh? Nothing. Right on, right on. Huh? Just trying to get into trouble. Trying to get into trouble? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, dude. Should we show Matt what we got him? Yeah. Dude, you, you got it. You got me a fucking hook, I'm going to be pissed. I did not get you a hook, dude. dude. <laughs> I was talking about that. That's one thing that went through my head when all this was going on. I'm like, fuck, dude, I'm going to have a hook for a fucking team. <laughs> dude, so, obviously, nice. this ain't the first time this has happened to our group, unfortunately. So, we got to we gotta remedy this situation right now. <laughs> I got these for you for your birthday. You know the little, the little <laughs> clip on your harnesses? Well, they're right there. That's right, dude. You got you just, a little you wrist can, restraint. I can those other than a side by side. Ooh. <laughs> oh, bring so, it to the wife for the surprise. <laughs> so, these Simpson race, uh, race, wrist restraints. I think uh, these things come in real handy. I'll be honest, I didn't get them for you, buddy. I figured you probably learned your lesson, <laughs> but <laughs> I got them for Abel and Bentley. So when they're ripping the Razor 200, dude, we're gonna know they're good. Gotta be safe, you know what I mean? So I got a pair of Simpson ones, and then I got a pair of race equip ones, and uh, we'll see which ones are better. Uh, maybe they're both great, and we'll just use them both. If not, if one sucks, we'll order another one of the good one, who knows? We'll find out. You make a knife instead of the edge of the screwdriver. We always use the most random stuff. I agree. Like seriously, all the time. We're always. Anytime you're just like, it's a box, I'm gonna use whatever I can to get it. <laughs> yep. But. I don't even remember this box coming. What the heck is this? Got combustion on it. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we ordered from Combustion Motorsports. I'll be honest, ever since we went out to Utah for the very first time and they fixed uh, Gunner, all my clutching, clutching issues and everything. I mean, those guys are legit, and they carry everything. Their website is top-notch, and, uh, yeah, I like the ordering stuff from them. Door bags. Find things with it. Uh, Everything's, like, discounted on their website. Well, yeah. not everything, but, like, good majority of stuff. Yeah, they got good prices on a lot of stuff. And, uh, dude, I mean, they got all this stuff here from Utah, and, well, you know, they probably drop shit from other places, but it all got here quick. Nice, easy process, and uh, these PRP door bags, top-notch. Hey, dude. Since when? 1997, dude? Damn. It's a special year for me. Is that it, bud? No. Okay. This right here. This is something we weren't too sure about. 
but we just pulled a gun on it. Yeah, and just to, to bring you guys up to date, if you haven't like watched our channel for a long time, literally I am like a diehard believer in the rigid light bars. Literally have them, that's JC's machine. Actually, you know what? That's a freaking rough country on JC's car. Yeah, he's got the double. He's got the spotlights and a rough country light bar. Um, I really like like the single single bar because it's just slim lined. I like the look of it. It's sleek well, and uh, compared to lights, it was pretty comparable. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, hell, it's upside down, but you know, there's a little bit of the specs there for you if you want to pause it, flip it, do whatever. Maybe not, and just keep listening to us, and we'll open this thing up. But this is the Rough Spectrum Country series. Spectrum Series single row light bar, and this is a 40 inch. Yep. I'm excited to see this, dude. Wire harness. The cool. Other thing, it's not that terrible. But this is switch. Yeah, I mean you can use that switch, but we like the rocker switches. And actually, uh, the other light I already had on there came. Bob's put in the OEM switch, so I'll probably just wire that up to that. Oh yeah, be perfect. Yep. Nice, nice. It's got the good waterproof connections on there too, which is really good to see. Dude, I'll tell you what, that freaking wire is thick. It is. Wow. That is heavy duty, bud. Damn, that's going to be uh, interesting to pull that through the cage. That's, that might be, we might, <laughs> uh, well, we'll figure it out. We always do. We always do. I mean, the good thing is that we're taking the cage off. Almost, we're fixing it. Almost completely unbolted. You almost got her, dude? No more issues? No. Just nice. Slow. Things with one hand suck. <laughs> Not all things. <laughs> go. Oh, gosh. I got to get my head focused here. Freaking. Uh, sleek design. Comes with the dude, a little light it. cover on there? Yep. So nice. When you're, when you're just cruising through on the trailer, you know, pop it on there. Good idea. You ain't gotta clean all the bug guts off of it when you get to the trail. What do you think? How's it feel weight wise? I mean, does it feel good? It's got some weight to it. Yeah? Definitely better than the other one. That's that's good. Just look at that thing. Even them lights in there. Woo! Shiny. Dude, let me see that. It's pretty sweet. It looks like it it's actually got like is a soup sweet, in it, dude. Like, wow. wow. That is totally different than any of the light bars we've ever ran. I hope you guys can see this well. This actually looks really slick. And it does, it does have some good weight. Hey, Aiden, you know what else is good about this? It's not as deep. Yeah, that's right. Look how deep that thing was. So, I mean, just look at the size comparison here. And this is a, this is a no, no brand, no name. We could not find a name on this thing for the life of us. I, I mean, there's, there's a reason for it. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not the best quality. But it will get you where you need to go. I mean, it, it did work for, you know, as long as you had it. But the one problem with this, the original one that was on the ABF cage, is that it was so deep that he couldn't it would, pitch it up it would, without it hitting the cage. Yeah, it would smack the roof, and I couldn't get to where I wanted it. Yeah, so this one not being as deep, we're going to be able to move, maneuver this around as much as possible. What's up, buddy? How's it going, dude? Underway? Yeah, you say what's up to the people? What up? What's going on? It's time to ride again. Huh? It's time to ride again. I, that's what I just said. <laughs> that's what I just said. We're getting there, dude. Check out this light bar, bud. It's like totally different than anything we've ever bought. Damn, it almost looked like it just lit up. Did you see that? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. It's a like angled. Oh, it's definitely a different design. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Wow, RC. Rough country, so we'll see. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good price too. Two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, and I can't remember what the lumens were, but it was eighteen thousand nine hundred. Yeah, it was a heck of a lot better than that bar. Not as much as a rigid, oh, and it's slim too. but comparable. Yeah, That's pretty sweet. like size wise, dude, it's amazing. I like the slim effect. Yeah, like we, uh, me and Aiden came in here one night and we turned the barn lights off. And we turned the rigid on gunner on, and then we took JC's rough country light on. And honestly, you couldn't really tell a difference. It just had a different like uh, type of light. Like one was yellower than the other. I can't remember which one, but 
They look good. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's better or not, but it might be so that you're not getting like a glare. Right. So yeah, I was just gonna say sometimes it lights the sand up. Yeah. So yeah, excited to get this thing on and uh see how that light is and we'll definitely keep you guys updated on that as we get to using it. But I think Matt's got all the bolts off this cage. Yeah. Get this one out. Yep. Speaker off. Speaker will come off next because I think we're gonna leave the cage on the car so Ashton can do all the grinding and welding like standing up so he's not bent over hunched over trying to get everything done and then we just got an email or a text from abf they're actually shipping everything out they shipped everything out yesterday so we should get the new light bar bracket tabs and the new roof stuff still breaking on it <laughs> but hopefully that stuff will come real soon and then uh ashton can get this mocked up get everything welded and uh we'll get her off the powder coat so coming along but uh yeah that's pretty much the update for now and uh we'll jump back on here as soon as uh we do something else with the phantom so see you guys here in a little bit